guys, uh, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's episode, as you guys saw in the intro, is going to be my draft wish list and who I would like to draft in the NFL draft. Um, so today, uh, as of course I just mentioned, we will be talking about who I would like to select in the draft and why. Um, and, you know, the draft is one of the most important things in the NFL. You know, you can't really have a team without drafting or free agency. Rookies are unique in a way, if you guys agree. Because, you know, take Tom Brady, for an example. When he was a rookie, no one, um, people barely, <coughs> excuse me, people barely knew his name. Now, he's known as the greatest quarterback of all time, possibly even the greatest football player of all time. Um... You know, uh, he went from being a third string or backup quarterback, either one. I'm pretty sure it's backup, uh, to the greatest of all time. I mean, that is something that not many people have achieved. Like, I, I'm pretty sure he's the he's the only one in a fact in the fact um, to achieve seven Super Bowl rings and only and started off his NFL career as a backup. You know, that's just that's that's astonishing for a player. You know. Um, but what I wanted to talk about is who I want the New York Jets to draft and why. Now, the two main positions we need are cornerback and offensive lineman, possibly safety. Um, I think we're good on the wide receiver core. I would like, I think Garrett Wilson from Ohio State would be a great select, but I just don't really feel the need for it. And, you know, Elijah Moore's already a growing star. Corey Davis is doing well, you know, um, there's rumors that Robbie Anderson might come back to New York, you know, Keelan Cole is doing great, you know, I, I just don't feel the need, I just don't feel like there's a need for another wide receiver to be on the Jets, I mean, I could see it if Robbie Anderson does not go to the Jets and we don't re-sign Berrios, I can very well see an opportunity of us drafting Garrett Wilson, and if that's the case, I would be 100% fine with that, you know, um, but I would, so we have the fourth and 10th pick for the first round. Now, who do I, who do I want for the first overall pick? An offensive lineman. Now, the offensive lineman that I really would like is Ekem, um, I think it's Ekem Ekwanu. Um, that's from, uh, you know, he, he's just a great offensive lineman. I've, I've looked at his highlights, you know, before, you know, to see which offensive lineman I would like. I think Ike McWanu, um is a perfect, you know, offensive lineman, fits the Jets' offense. I think he will do great. I think him, Mekhi Becton, um, uh, Morgan, Mo excuse me, Morgan Moses, and um, Elijah Vera Tucker will do very well if we, if we re-sign Morgan Moses. Morgan Moses. Um, so, but yeah, first of all, Ikemic Wanu is just one of those linemen that you could just run behind and he'll dominate. Like, he, he can pancake someone in like less than, uh, let's see, less than five seconds, you know, or like less than three seconds. Like, that, that is just amazing to me how much, you know, dedication and heart this player has. You know, um, that is the player I would like to select for the fourth overall uh, pick in the draft. Now, um, we de as we de as I mentioned earlier, we do desperately need a cornerback also. Now, the corner that I've um, that I picked for my pick is Sauce Gardner. You know he he's unbelievable. I've seen he's he he would fit the Jets defense. He was an, he would improve the Jets defense. You know with Mosley with um, Bryce Hall. You know, um, Gardner and Bryce Hall would be such a good cornerback um, duo. Um, it, it'll be dangerous, a, a dangerous duo in the next three years or so if we pick Sauce Gardner. And that's who I really want. The two picks I really want in the draft is Ikem Ekwanu and Sauce Gardner. Now, am I fine with Garrett Wilson? Yes. Um, but I would also like... But I would. I'm leaning more towards Sauce Gardner and Ekemic Wanu. I don't mind if we get a. Um, I don't mind if we get Evan Neal, which is 
the other offensive tackle that's in that's in the draft. You know, um, Ike McWan is also such a he's such a you know maintainable um like you know if you guys know what I mean like like that he maintains defenders really well like he doesn't let them get through um he doesn't you know he doesn't he just doesn't let them get through the pocket and get to his quarterback that's what I love Zach Wilson needs protection he needs you know like linemen to save him from getting sacked that hasn't been the case for the past year you know i saw zach wilson getting sacked nine times during our last game against the bills that's not good but if we get ikemic wanu and fit him with the offensive line with elijah vera tucker who's also a also already building star himself then i think um him makai Becton, morgan moses and elijah vera tucker uh you know we're going to have an elite offensive line in the next five years if we keep just drafting linemen. You know, that's what we need the most, you know. Um, and there's rumors that J.C. Jackson might come to the Jets. I would I would love that. I would really love that. But I, I would also like to select a corner in the draft. Um, you know, I like I said, I'm fine with Evan Neal, which is an offensive tackle. I've seen his highlights. Those are Evan Neal's. Um, highlights are really good also. Um, you know, his he's similar to Ikemic Wanu in a way. Um but I just think, you know, um he's more of a um how do you explain it? I don't really know how to explain it, but he's uh he's just a different type of lineman than Ikemic Wanu. Uh but I just think Ikemic Wanu is a better pick. For the Jets, I think he fits the offense more well. I think Evan Neal would fit the Jaguars offense really well. You know, uh, so speaking of that, I kind of want to do who I think the um, first uh, four picks are going to be the Jaguars to the Jets. So at number one, I have the Jaguars selecting um, offensive tackle Evan Neal. You know, I just think he will help the Jaguars offensive line a lot. The Jaguars line is one of the worst in the league. Um, you know, it's, it's so bad. I think they need, I, I really desperately think they need an offensive lineman. I think Evan Neal will do just the job at, at least to help it a little bit, but Evan Neal won't be able to save them like all the way. Like you, there are, so let's, we have the left, uh, tackle, the left guard, the center, the right guard, the right, there's five offensive lineman positions. One offensive lineman cannot fix that whole five. You need to, you know, keep getting free agents, drafting O linemen over and over again. That's how you're gonna build your own offensive line. You know, um, so I think Evan Neal fits perfectly with the Jaguars. Moving on to pick two for um the Lions, I do have Aiden Hutchinson going to the Lions. I think the Lions need to improve their defense, their defensive line especially, and I think Aiden Hutchinson will do the job in Detroit. I think he will be a beast next season. I, I honestly think he will be a top 10 defensive end by the end of next season. Um, I, his, he, him in Michigan, he was, the, he was probably the best defen defensive player in college football last year. You know, um, in Big Ten, um, you know, he was just such a good player last year. I think he will help the Detroit Lions a lot. So at number three, I do have the Houston Texans getting Kyle Hamilton safety i think the texans also need to sort of rebuild their defense and i think kyle hamilton will do just the do uh just the job at safety you know i just think he fits uh well the texans defense i think he'll do great in houston um it depends though if like houston uses him right that's the whole point like if you use players right they're gonna shine they're gonna show you what they can do but here's the thing if you don't do them right like if you say you um put them in a in a in a situation that just leads them to you know um not that not comfortable you know what I'm trying to say is that like you have to know how to coach your players in order for them to play like you want them to play to like for example. Bill Belichick um, coached Tom Brady so well. That's how that's how he took his steps one by one to become the greatest of all time. 
Second of all, here's another example for bad coaching, how Adam Gase coached Sam Darnold. As badly as I wanted to keep Sam Darnold, unfortunately it did not happen, but hey, I'm still happy with Zach Wilson. I think he is our quarterback of the future. Shane, you can you can argue with me all you want, but I've seen improvement from him over his rookie season. I think he's our uh, quarterback of the year, or quarterback of the future. So, like, there's a huge gap between Bill Belichick and Tom Brady at the time when Tom Brady wasn't the greatest of all time, of course, and how Adam Gase treated Zach Wilson. Those are two, you know, so two different situations. You know, uh, if, when you have a good coach, you make good players. If you have a bad coach, you make bad players. So the Houston Texans, the Detroit Lions, the New York Jets, and the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New York Giants, the Atlanta Falcons, all those teams that are, that are really struggling – they just have to bring it together with their coaches, you know, and say, hey, you know, we need to coach these um, rookies so well if we want them to shine. That's the mentality you have to have in order to um, be a good coach, in order for your players to do good. You know, that's just how it rolls. Like, if you say, okay, let's go for, I know we're, we're, trying, to, um, we're trying to get the first overall draft pick next year. Let's just lose on purpose and make you guys look like complete fools. That's not, you can't do that. If you want your team to be good, you have to give them motivation. You have to give them, uh, you know, um, you have to make, you have to put them in the right situation. Uh, and so for the New York Jets, I have them getting Ikamik Wanu for the fourth overall draft pick. Like I said earlier, he fits so well with the Jets' um, offense. I just think he will be phenomenal with the Jets as a blocking lineman. Um, you know, and... I just think he'll help Michael Carter a lot. I think he'll help Ty Johnson a lot, Zach Wilson especially. Um, I just think he's such a good lineman to have, and I just think I just really hope draft goes well. Anyways, that is all for today, guys. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more weekly content. And I will see you guys next week. Peace out, Jet fans.